I have a confession to make. Moneyball is my favorite movie, and I just won't admit it. I think about Moneyball more than Shawshank Redemption, which is my favorite story of any movie. I think about it more than Royal Tenenbaums, which are my favorite characters of any movie. And Royal Tenenbaums is one of the movies that made me realize what movies can do. In Moneyball, I think about more than either of those, and it's about baseball stats. It's about analytics. Probably the most boring subject on the planet. It's got Aaron Sorkin's writing. It's got Bennett Miller's just unique direction. But, but more than anything, it just has this it factor, this little bit that makes it so good. And I don't know what it is. It might be, you know, the actors' performances. Brad Pitt is incredible, and, and Jonah Hill from Moneyball. He's just so good, and you don't expect it, but Jonah Hill kills it. I mean, that's just good acting. That can't, that can't be it. Is it, is it that it's a baseball movie and that baseball movies quite simply are the best sports movies? I mean, that has been well established. It's so interesting because it's none of those individual aspects that make it so good on its own, but it's a combination of every part of filmmaking. It's not the best looking, and yet they still find beauty in the reflections of lights off stadium seating. It finds beauty in the ivy and the green monsters and the brickwork of ballparks and in the pixels on a computer screen. And you can just see excellence in every part of the movie. From the writing, to the directing, to the camera, to the editing. I mean, just talk about the streak. Oh my goodness, one of the best sequences and montages in any sports movie since Rocky. You just become an A's fan in three minutes. And speaking of the A's, speaking of baseball, I hardly even watch it. I, I don't even know if I'm a baseball fan. I like to talk about baseball. I think I like baseball. But I really just watch opening day and then October. And there's like 161 games between when I turn the Rangers on for the first game of the season and when I begrudgingly shut it off because they haven't made the postseason once again. And yeah, baseball movies... Sorry, that's the dog from the Sandlot, apparently. Hercules, you know. Wanted to get in my Moneyball video. Baseball movies, yes, they romanticize baseball. They they take a sport that's sometimes hard to watch, and they make it beautiful and extraordinary. And Moneyball does that too. Moneyball does absolutely romanticize baseball. Brad Pitt literally says, how can you not be romantic about baseball? But the movie also just grounds the sport in reality, it shows those inner workings. It really shows the sweat equity required to create a winning team. You know, not just batting practice and talent, but cuts and trades, scouting. It doesn't shy away from showing how the sausage gets made. I mean, yeah, Sorkin wrote a movie about baseball stats, but he puts emotion into it. He gives you these characters that you want to root for, this father-daughter relationship, the exec versus the players, and the stories and the characters and the people, he humanizes baseball stats. And I don't know how anyone else could have done it besides him. And combine that with Miller, combine that with Brad Pitt, combine that with Jonah Hill. Everything came together for this movie to succeed and to be one of the best, if not the best, baseball movie ever made. Which is a bold claim given that there's so many good ones, but in my opinion, it's Moneyball. I, I just think about it more. Every time I tell someone to watch it, and they do, it changes them. It genuinely does. And I'm able to talk about it with my friends every single time I see them because now they think about it all the time too. Everyone thinks about Moneyball. It changes you once you watch it. It's two hours and 13 minutes about baseball stats and it's not long enough. And every single time I watch it, it just gets better. And I just wanna watch it all over again and again and again. I think about it more than any other movie I've ever seen. I want to make a movie like Moneyball that just makes you think and takes this subject that no one thinks is possible and makes it into the greatest thing you've ever seen. But that's a process. Now let's go play catch.